What's happening, Pod Squad? Welcome into another episode of Mini Stripes uh, on YouTube and on podcast version. Thank you for listening. Um, how do you use social media to make more money in your business? Um, this is uh, a super important topic because social media costs zero dollars, which is one of the best things about it. But I think the, the concept behind it is uh, misunderstood in our industry a lot. What I see happening is a lot of guys, um, maybe they stay consistent with posting some pictures or some content on there. Uh, maybe of the work that they've done, that's kind of, kind of the most typical thing. And they feel like, well, I'm not getting any actual work from this. And so they just kind of stop posting. Or that's all their social media is, is just this collection of parking lot pictures, which there's nothing wrong with that. I appreciate those. But they don't really understand the kind of the meaning behind it. So um, from my perspective, and, and what's worked well for us in helping us grow, is uh, like putting the value into social media really comes from you trying to get people to know you like you and trust you. So if you can nail those three things, if people know you, like you, trust you, it will be much easier to, to sell more projects and do more business because people want to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. So if you can consistently put out any sort of content on social media, you are getting uh, more people to know you, which is step one. You basically want people to see your name, your business name as much as possible so that uh, if people do need your services, whether it's striping or seal coating, you'll be top of mind because they've seen your name and they know the kind of content that you put out. So if you only put out images of parking lot striping though, again, not the worst thing. If you're consistent with that, that's good, but it's not going to really help people to get to really like and trust you. So one thing that we've done in our company here over the last few years is put out content that tells you more of the story of who we are and what we do and why we do it. So a huge thing for this, an easy way to do this is as uncomfortable as this is for, for a lot of guys, put out videos, preferably with your face on it. So if you can put your face, even if it's just like a short 15, 20 second video, talking about a project that you've done, um, people will begin to identify you with your company and start putting a, a face to the name. That really elevates people's um, uh, factor in if they like and trust you. See, if they've already seen your face on social media in some of the videos you've posted, they'll be a lot more comfortable when you show up to do a site visit with them, provide them a quote. They'll already have seen you online and they'll be like, hey, I know this cam guy, he posts those videos. I watch them. See, that's the other thing too, is a lot of times when people who are uh, on social media, they, they might not need your services the moment they see an awesome video from you. And that's okay. But if you have a consistent uh, message with your face on it, when they do need your services, whether it's striping or seal coating, again, you'll be top of mind and they'll have a face to the name, which is awesome to do. So if the idea of you putting your face on video and like taking your phone and turning the camera around and talking to it makes you super uncomfortable. Um, one thing that worked really well for me when I started doing it was at the, at the end of every job, I would ask myself, what's the biggest problem I solved on this project? So the chances are, even if you're like a one man striping show, you know, when you do a project, you're solving somebody's problem, whether that's you know, it was a grand opening for a store and they, they, they needed the striping done right away. Or, you know, it was a big project and, you know, the, the paving company didn't have anyone to come do it and, and you came in and saved the day. Whatever, whatever the story is, every project we do, we solve somebody's problem. So if you can communicate that in a video explaining like, hey, this is Cam, I'm from Laser Pavement Solutions, I'm on this job today, this client's opening this store like tomorrow and they were in a panic they weren't sure if they were going to have their striping done. So our crew came in and were able to do this beautiful parking lot in you know, 12 hours or whatever. So if you can identify the problem that you solved, people will begin to associate you with being a problem solver, which is exactly what you want. Now you start building the trust factor that when clients need work done, they know you and they trust that you're going to get it done because you've shown it in video that you're capable of solving their problems. So social media really is the long game. It's pretty rare where you're going to put out a post and 7,000 people are going to come clamoring to you asking for your work. That's okay. You, you don't need that. What you want to do is build the consistency, tell the story of who you are and what you're doing, the problems that you're solving. And eventually when people do need you, you will probably be the first person that comes to their mind.
All right, guys, if you have any questions about social media, I love social media. I think it's a great tool. Uh, reach out anytime. I would love to help you out. Don't be afraid to turn that camera around, guys. Put yourself on video, and uh, you'll get some good stuff happening from it.